What's up, guys? It's hump day, Wednesday. And, uh, you know, if you're feeling the blues from the week, that's what you're here for. You're here to kick back and relax and see some cool stuff. And today, you're going to see some super cool stuff because we're going to crack open this uh, latest release from the Matchbox Collector line. This is the uh, B case, or Mix 2, however you want to put it. Um, there are five models in this mix. Uh, there were supposed to be six, but there is no G-Wagon. The G-Wagon was supposed to be included in gold. That is on your screen now. I'm not really sure why it wasn't included in this mix, but it's not. Um, it could come later on. We don't know. Um, I, I did pick these up uh, from a case at Target um, as I watched the uh, employee put them on the peg. Uh, first model here, this is the Lamborghini uh, Centenario, and this comes two per case, so that's a very good thing. We're going to crack this guy open. He's number five, so we're going to go th through these in order. Take a look at the back. It tells you the model at the top. It gives you a little icon showing you that the door opens. There is the deets on the bottom, should you want those deets. We're going to go on to uh, the one that's already commanding an enormous amount of money on eBay, which is just a joke. Uh, I see these things listed for 50 bucks right now. It's insane. Uh, this is the Henry J. Gasser. Uh, Gassers are hot. They're hot. Uh, this comes one per case. Um, no surprise, but, you know, it's, it's a new model. It's a new casting. Uh, and it does have an opening feature. I'm going to take a look at that. There's your, there is your details right there. Shows you that the hood opens. We're going to move on to number seven. This is the 2019 Ford Ranger in awesome matchbox deco. Uh, this has two moving features, has an opening hood and an opening tailgate. Um, this one comes uh, two per case. So, in case you really, really want that one, two per case. There you go. Shows the opening feature, the hood. Set this guy to the side. Move those off the screen. Next one up is going to be number eight. This is the uh, Porsche 550 Spider. Um, definitely one of my favorite castings just because I love Porsche. Porsches are badass. Uh, this one also comes one per case. Um, you know, it's it is what it is. It seems like the most sought after ones are one per case, but you know, it's, what are you gonna do? Take a look at the back. There you go. Shows that the back opens up. And I'm assuming these are probably you know just illustrations that would show up on the opening parts models as well. Uh, number nine, it's the last one in this current mix, at least for now, unless the G-Wagon comes out. This is a 1962 Volkswagen Beetle. Casting's been around forever, so you guys already know. There are no opening features on this one. Take a look on the back. There's just no, there's just no logo, so it just shows you what it is, because obviously there's no opening feature. Um, obviously, the G-Wagon would be number 10. Um, I would think it's going to come in later batches because um, it did. It, I mean, there are pictures of it blistered, but uh, quick search on good old eBay. Uh, there's not even on any on eBay. Uh, this is two per case. So two Volkswagens, two Super Lift. Uh, so two of these guys, two of these guys, two of these guys, and then one gasser and one. 550 so that makes up your case just in case you guys are curious so uh, we're gonna reset we'll be right back all right guys we're just gonna dump jump right into it we're gonna bust out the lambo super look how cleanly that came off the blister like it wasn't even attached there is your awesome box take a look at it this is the coolest part of it the little diagram there too bad it doesn't actually have those wheels on it. Still pretty cool. Let's 
as of course like most premium stuff comes in a little blister and then we're going to throw that guy down there take a look at it do something a little bit different today we'll let the we'll let the rotator do the talking try to switch it up here and there i don't, don't want to do every single video the exact same um this one's really really nice that we get this in all its uh premium deco which isn't a ton of deco but it's there uh you get your headlights you got your lamborghini logo on the front you got that deco up the side eight pillars it says centenario on there um base is red so it gives that nice break and then on the back all the details the majority of the details on the back and uh blue says centenario on the plate Lamborghini Centenario. It's pretty nice. Triple exhaust on there. And then, of course, um, this is opening parts. So, door opens. There you go. It's pretty nice. I'm not a big fan of the wheels. Um, you know, Hot Wheels has a giant assortment of wheels. I just, I don't, I really don't feel like it would have been that big of a deal to, uh, you know, Dig into the parts bench a little bit. A little bit. Uh, we're going to move on to number six, um, which is the gasser. And 99% of the videos you guys watch for this unboxing, they're going to make you wait to see the gasser. I'm just going in number order. I'm making it simple. So we'll get this guy moved off. Put him to the side. Take a look at the box real quick. Awesome card art. Box art, card art, it's all the same. There is the detail on the front. And you look at that front tire, you see that they still have some parts peeking through there. I showed you on uh, the first mix, the Chevy truck had that same issue. So it's interesting to see that still there, still prevalent. Henry J. Gasser, it's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to get right into the model because that's all you guys care about. So we're going to throw this honking thing right here. This is uh, this is way out of the realm of normal for Matchbox. Let me try to get that nice and centered for you guys, or at least at least a little bit more centered. You know, it looks a lot, it looks centered in the, in the video when I'm watching it through the camera, but I know you guys are like, wait a second, that's not centered. Um, Sunset Rocket. I don't know if this is a real deco or not. Obviously, the Henry J. Gasser is, is a real thing. Um, but I don't know. I love the contrasting wheels, though. I think that's absolutely sweet. Um, and then, of course, this has opening feature. So as it rolls around, I'm going to pop that open so you can take a look at it. So there's your Gasser detail. Um, so just so you guys know... Um, this motor in there, the motor you're looking at, die cast. So all you customizers out there who want to chop it up, that motor is die cast. That's pretty sweet. It's a really, really nice model. Really nice model. Um, I like the fact that Matchbox is getting out of their normal realm of stuff. Um, I don't know... I mean, obviously, they decided to do a gasser because that's that's what's hot. But uh, I feel like they still did it their own style. And I really, 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 really like that. So since this is a brand new model, we'll take a look at the base. 1954 Henry J. Gasser. Made in Thailand. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's a plastic base, of course. Uh, just some fine details. I'll show you guys real quick. Just because there's quite a bit of tampo on here. Got some numbers down underneath the headlights. Which is really, really nice. Uh, Jay Ariano. I'm sure that means something. But that's it's only on one side of the hood. So just so you guys know. And look at the orange, man. This is such a good orange. And then just so you can see in there a little bit better. You know, just because this is a new casting and... You know, get a little bit extra. Nice fat tires on the back. Very, very nice. Such, this is such a cool model. Such a cool model. 
Um, I'm gonna let that rotate just a little bit more as we move on to the next one. Porsche 550 Spider. Oh no! Sorry guys, going out of order. You're gonna have to deal with the Super Lift Ranger. Throw the blister to the side. Bring up the box. I love the deco. I love it's all smathered with matchbox. I think that's awesome. There's your blueprint. Looks really, really good. Extremely, of course, realistic because it's exactly what it is. And then uh, same, same deets. It's a pretty cool box. Pretty cool boxes. And pull this guy off. I'm going to take out the Super Lift Ranger. Throw him on there. Now, this guy sports the typical Matchbox, you know, their own off-road premium tire that they made. So crazy trying to get that centered. Um, I think it works well. I really like the orange lip on it. Obviously, this is a truck. This is exactly what this is made for. They put this on some cars. Looks terrible. But this one's pretty nice. A little bit of dust on there. Get that guy off of there. Um, I, I I still think it's incredibly crazy that they decided to do two opening features on this model. Um, so the hood opens. It doesn't stay up. It's got tons and tons of looseness in there. Um, so I just can't, can't show it to you guys. Have to kind of hold it upside down. Obviously, there's no print underneath there. Um, and then tailgate folds down, which is very, very nice. To show you the close up just real quick just because this is an intricate deco just real quick it's really nice this is not a new model so nothing fancy it looks pretty good with the tailgate down i like it um the, the model is is pretty small though you know it's for a truck it just doesn't have a lot of heft to it and it feels pretty light too so all right now we're going to move on to porsche 550 which it's going to be my favorite, uh, just because I'm biased towards Porsche. I'm rip this guy open. Take a look at the box. Very classic. Uh, the makes the box look a little bit better with something like this because it's classic. You know, you're looking at the box with the Ranger. It just doesn't look all that great. Take a look at our blueprint on the top. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Uh, actually, no. Uh, so it makes it look like it's got a uh, a uh, B or C pillar. Uh, oh, you know what? Never mind. That is supposed to indicate the uh, break in the windshield. Uh, even though the model does not have that break in the windshield. But we're going to take a look at it. So we're going to pull this guy off. We're going to throw this guy on here. It's tiny, tiny little guy. I don't like these wheels. I don't like these wheels at all. Um, I know that this is one of the closer wheels that they have. But man, Hot Wheels has such an enormous amount of real riders that you can't tell me you couldn't have found something that better replicated this wheel. And look at that. It got to have something. It got to have something. Um, other than that, it's nice. We've seen this one in silver. Actually, it's more of a gray. This is actual silver. Um, I can tell you right now, I'm not a huge fan of those red stripes on the back. It's not all that great to me. Um, you guys have seen this model before. So, got your full front and rear deco on it. Got some pretty good interior details. Um, and then, of course, uh, just like the moving parts one, all that detail in there is printed. So this is actually a very, very nice model, very premium. So like I said, it's not a brand new model, so I don't need to spend a ton of time on it, but definitely want to take it and look at it. Definitely love this model. I'm super, super happy they made this uh, such an iconic car. I have many, many, many models of this, but they're all big scale. Um, you know, 164 scale, you're, you're kind of limited as far as any kind of good quality ones so 
Uh, in the same vein of this Volkswagen group, uh, we're going to bust out 1962 Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, this casting's been around for like 32 quadzillion years. Uh, it's been changed a little bit here and there. Another cool tampo for it, of course, because they all do. Take a look at the top. There's your blueprint. Looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. So uh, definitely, so the blueprint is a different bumper. So this is not the bumper on the model. So I'll show you that. So that is a two-tier bumper, not a two-tier bumper. But that's okay. That's okay. It's just the box. It's just the box. Uh, we'll get this awesome Porsche off of there. I'm going to throw on this uh, pretty nice version of the 62 Volkswagen Beetle in purple. Surfs up, basically. I like the fact that this line doesn't have to have moving parts. It doesn't have to have this. It doesn't have to have that. Um, I can guarantee you this line will be nothing but licensed cars. There's no reason why it wouldn't be. Um, Matchbox almost only does match uh, licensed stuff in the main line. Uh, they throw some stuff in five packs, I believe. Here and there. But that's perfect. You know, Matchbox has been doing some crazy, crazy stuff. Crazy cool stuff lately. Uh, we'll take a look at it just real quick. Purina Cove. So, Matchbox Boards. Hawaii or Bust. It's pretty nice. You got the deco all the way up the hood with the Volkswagen's logo. Headlights. No rear deco, though. No rear deco. Uh, I guarantee it's because this top piece is painted. Inter to enter to replicate that it's got a target top a retractable top i guess you could call it um this model's been around since 1998 and it was retooled in 2017 i like this model because it has the tow hitch it's pretty cool so we're going to throw these five models on here i do and try to see if i can throw up the moving stuff while I put them up there. And uh, see how it goes. Throw the Lambo in the back. I know. Zoom out a little bit. Let you guys take that in. So there you go. That is mix two of the 2021 Matchbox Collector line. Uh, don't get too crazy with eBay, guys. I'm telling you. Uh, this is just starting to pop up at Target. Um, Walmart's super far behind the game, but this is uh, popping up at Target. So uh, these are $5.99, or I'm sorry, $4.99 each. Um, and just the prices on eBay are nuts for these. They're nuts. So I uh, hope you guys can find them. Hope you guys enjoy these. I uh, hope you guys uh, find some stuff in here you really, really, really like. And if you find some stuff in here you don't like, let me know. I think this is a fantastic batch. I think all of them are good additions and good versions. So, anyways, Level and Diecast, appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to come back. As always, peace.